two uh, dates for the Shahada, the two narrations of the Shahada of Sayyidah. So we are potentially going through those times where if we were to cast our minds to Medina some thousand years ago, the daughter of Rasulullah would have one hand on the walls of Medina, one hand upon her rib, and she would be making her way towards the grave of her father, crying, Subbat alayya basa'ib ablaw annaha, Subbat ala al-ayyama sirna layaliya. That, oh my father, these sorrows had that have fallen upon me, had they fallen upon the brightest of days, they would have become the darkest of nights. And all of this has happened. All of this um, has occurred. She's given her sermon. The Muslims have turned against her. They've come. They've set fire to their house. And now Zahra is entering her last days. And one day Amir al-Mu'mineen comes home to find Sayyidah crying. And you see the love that Sayyidah has for Amir al-Mu'mineen, that according to some narrations, they say every time Ali would walk in the house, she would run and greet Amir al-Mu'mineen and say, Ruhi lak al-fida ya Amir al-Mu'mineen. May my soul be sacrificed for you, O Amir al-Mu'mineen. Nafsi lak al May my nafs be sacrificed upon you, O Amir al-Mu'mineen. This is how much love they had for each other. That when this day Amir al-Mu'mineen comes home, he sees Zahra crying. He says, Ya Fatima, I see nothing within the heavens and the earth that would have upset you on this day. Why is it that I find you crying? She looks at him and says that, Ya Ali, I'm not crying for myself, but I'm crying for you. What will happen to you once I'm gone? This is that love. This woman is now crying, Subbat alayya masa'ib anna. She's reciting her marthiya at the grave of the Holy Prophet. And we know that the khutbah of Sayyidah was narrated by Hazrat Zainab. That our Aqila ibn Abbas has narrated this khutbah to us. And it's not beyond the realms of possibility that Sayyidah would have seen her mother go to the grave of Rasul A'adham and recite this marthiya. And I was thinking earlier that both mother and daughter have a marthiya. And there are a number of similarities and a number of differences. The first is that Zahra recited her marthiya by the grave of the Prophet. But Zainab recited her marthiya in Karbala. The similarity is that both of them address the Holy Prophet. Zahra said, Ya Ahmad, Zainab here has turned towards Medina, said, Ya Jadda, Salla alayka malaikatu sama, that, O oh, my grandfather, the angels of the heavens would come and send salams upon you. Zahra also spoke about her pains. Zainab also spoke about her pains. Zahra had Hussein with her. Zainab too had Hussein with her. But the difference in Abi Abdullah, the Zahra, the Hussein that Zahra had by her side, that Hussein was different to the Hussein that Zainab had with her in Karbala. Because when Zahra was reciting her Musiba, Imam al Hussein was safe, he was in one piece, he was with his mother. But here in Karbala, the Hussein that is in front of Zainab. First and foremost, she can't recognize him. As she approaches the pile of sticks and stones that surround the body of Abi Abdullah, she addresses it. She says, Ha'anta akhi, that are you my brother? Ha'anta qurratu aini, are you the apple of my eyes? Are you that Hussein that was brought up by my mother? And then she begins to move away the stones around the body. And now she turns towards Medina. She says, Ya Jadda, Salla alayka malaikatu sama. That all my grandfather, the angels of heavens, would send salams upon you. Wahada Husseinuka murammalun bid dima. Here's your son Hussein. He's covered in his own blood. The face of Abi Abdullah, his body covered in his own blood. That Hussein, that was with Zahra, he was in one piece. He was, he was not covered in blood. This Hussein in front of Zainab, his beard has gone white from 
white it has become red from the blood of the Shohada.